Welcome back to Cooking with Nono. So today I'm really excited. I'm going to be making an eggplant parmesan. It's an authentic recipe from a friend in Italy. It's a family recipe. They're from Ricconi, which is part of the Emilia Romagna region of Italy. When I normally make my eggplant palm, I go from a flour egg to breadcrumb mixture. This family recipe calls for the eggplant to be sliced lengthwise. We're going to coat it in flour, then egg, and then we're going to go ahead and fry it off. I am using olive oil today, but I'm keeping an eye on my temperature as to not to get it too hot. So, anyway, I'm really excited to make this. I've made this once before for Stacy and I. Uh, it, it's excellent. I'm going to be using my 30 minute Italian tomato sauce that I made yesterday. Again, if you all want to check out the YouTube video, it's on my channel. Now, when it gets started, I'll go ahead and do a few slices. Again, I like to make sure there's no excess. Now, I have made eggplant palm where I've air fried it, I've baked it. So, again, if you prefer not to fry your eggplant, feel free to cook it however you like. Again, I'm not a stickler for following recipes. To honor my friend, I'm going to follow this recipe as closely as possible. I do not have any Parmesan cheese, so I will be using Romano. That's the only difference that I uh, will be doing. Now, 800 grams of eggplant. I've used two medium-sized eggplants. 250 grams of mozzarella. Says cutting cubes. I've graded mine. I had the other half a pound. So I'll be using a half a pound of mutz. I'll be using some Romano cheese. And it calls for two eggs. I had small eggs, so I used three. And uh, I used a half a cup of flour. So again, the goal is to get your eggplant well coated, shake off the excess, and put it into the egg. And what we're looking to do when we're frying is get it to a golden brown. These are thinner slices. They should cook pretty quick. And uh, they'll continue cooking more when we bake it off in the oven. I'm going to bake it at a 425 degree oven. That's a convection oven. And it'll take between, well, I'm going to say 20 and 30 minutes, somewhere around there. So if I'm being honest, Stacy usually does this process and I set her up outside at the outdoor kitchen, outdoor kitchen, and uh, she fries them up when we do fry them. So I don't have my partner with me today, so it's all on me. No pressure, right? We're starting to brown up. Wasn't quite up to temperature. In the meantime, I'll keep setting these up. This is a tedious process. You just take your time. This dish is delicious, so it's worth the effort. This is a special dish. Eggplant, or I'll just call it baked eggplant, is my probably my personal favorite Italian dish. 
and my daughter loves it. So does Stacy. And more recently, my son, he now likes it. So that creates a problem because if I make for my daughter, my son's jealous. It was better when he didn't like it. Anyway. Well, all right, so you can see how tender they are. Just gonna cover that up so I don't make too big of a mess here. So I'm gonna keep frying these up. I'll come back in just a minute when I get towards the end and I'll show you where we're at. And from there, we'll go ahead and assemble the eggplant and I'm gonna start preheating my oven soon. So I'm down to my last two. I did have to use one more egg, so I've had a total of four small eggs. Be careful, we're getting hot now. Get the last two in. I'm going to get the excess egg off. And these don't take very long. Gonna clear away some dishes here. Made a little bit of a mess. Overall, not too bad. Again, two medium sized eggplants. I think I've been at it maybe 12, 15 minutes, if even that. Let me grab the camera and I'll show you what it looks like. So there you go. Nice golden brown. I have my others right over here. They're covered up. So I'm going to finish frying these two up. And I'll come back once I clean up and start to assemble the baked eggplant dishes. Alright. I've got everything fried off. I've cleaned up a little bit. Things got a little messy. Just opened up some wine, some Cabernet Sauvignon. Getting a little dry. Salute and chin chin. Oh, okay, that's better. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to start to assemble the eggplant. One of the eggplants, the one I'm making for tonight, I'm going to make just a little bit different. So, anyway, I've got my 30 minute Italian tomato sauce. I'm just going to put a little on the bottom of each dish. Can you all guess who's getting this little sample here? And I'm only going to go about two layers deep. That one's hot. I'll see if I have enough before I put any sauce in the other one. That's how it looks. Nice and soft, it's tender. I can tell this is gonna be really good. And I purposely made some smaller pieces. Ooh, that's hot. Still hot. Okay. 
Okay, so we've got one liner on each. Now we're going to come back with a little more sauce, not too much. too much sauce here. Just enough to lightly coat all the surface. Alright. Now I'm going to put just a little bit of the mozzarella. Again I have a total of a half a pound. Not going to put too much in between the layers, just a little bit. So, if I can give you a uh, description of this, this is a very light version of a baked eggplant. Lots of flavor. And now I'm going to come in with a little Locatelli the Romano cheese. Yeah, this is my favorite. Might put a little extra on the one we're having tonight. Traditionally, you would use a Parmesan cheese. Again, I did not have any. And I figured this would work in a pinch. This is not exactly the recipe because, again, it called for Parmesan cheese. And only because I have it, I've got a lot of fresh rosemary. I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit here. Again, the recipe does not call for this, but I just have so much. We'll put a little bit in there. All right, second layer. That's a nice one right there. that way. Gonna have enough to do that other one. Right in here. We'll have a little sample. That's really good. We're going to put the final layer of tomato sauce and cheese. My oven is almost up to temperature. Again, it's a convection oven. Set it 425. I believe Stacy's going to be home in about 30 minutes. So she's going to time it right. It's typical. She comes home and dinner's ready. Must be nice. I really enjoy cooking for her. Boy, whoever's getting that one's gonna get a winner. Man, I'm really getting hungry. This is so good. So this is that tomato sauce I made yesterday, 30 minute Italian tomato sauce. 
if you recall, that was two 28 ounce cans, and I was able to make my baked rigatoni, and now I've made three servings of the baked eggplant with this sauce. Right down to the wire here. See nice chunks of garlic in there? I love garlic. Some people don't like it. In fact, this recipe, the tomato sauce, calls for removing the garlic afterwards. I can't help it, I have to eat the garlic. Boy, look about perfect. I'm gonna get every little bit of this. All right, <clears throat> finish up by putting cheese over the top. Again, we've gone two layers here. Yeah, not too much, just like with the Neapolitan pizza. Sometimes less is more when it comes to flavor and uh, it's healthier. And it gives you a chance to taste all the ingredients. Sometimes you put too much cheese, you just don't taste anything but melted cheese. That's not the goal here. We want to taste all the ingredients. I'm getting sloppy. Trying to be professional. Seems to be I'm struggling these days. That's what a retirement will do to you. Right, a little more on the one for tonight. That's actually a big portion. I don't know that we'll eat all of this. And by the way, my mom, this is one of her favorites too. She tells me when she was a child growing up, any leftover eggplant had it cold on a sandwich. Oh yeah, it's really good. Not paying attention. All right, that should work. All right. I'm going to finish up with the grated Romano. The oven just came up to temperature, so timing's pretty good. When I was a kid, we used to freshly grate this cheese. I wish I had that grater. But we'd fight over the rind, and nowadays I wish I had that grinder and then use the the grind, the rind of it for my soups. All right, what do you think I should top this with? Recipe doesn't call for anything, but I think I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of the. Dried oregano. Here we go. Final touches. Just a little bit, not too much. Again, the recipe does not call for this. thirsty. Alright, now I did say one of them was going to cook a little different. I'm going to put some fresh tomato on top. I really like the roasted tomato. So again, we have one we're going to share. This will be for another night. This is for tonight. I'm going to cook all of these, so it's just a matter of reheating them. So I'll come back in about 30 minutes and show you what it looks like. Okay, we're back. It's been 30 minutes. I have my three trays all set up here. Smells amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the camera and I'll get a close up of this. So. There's a shot of the baked eggplant that we'll be having tonight. 
and there's the other two. So I want to say thank you for watching another episode of Cooking with Nono. I'll see you next time back here at Nono's Kitchen.